We'll go ahead and start with a, a brief statement from Coach Maisie, then we'll have questions for the student athletes. Coach? Oh, that game was very indicative of uh, just about every game we played last week. You know, you play in that Big 12 Conference tournament, you see a lot of really good pitching, and that prepared us pretty well for Schaefer, I think. That guy has a good arm, as you'll see anywhere in the country. He's got great velocity, great command of his fastball, great life on his fastball. And if you hadn't seen that before, that would that would really tear you up, I think. But uh, we see good pitching in the Big 12, and we stand in there and, and grind out our at-bats. And I thought that's what we did today. Uh, really put the, some good swings on the ball. Even the outs we made were a lot of hard outs. And uh, B.J. Myers, uh, I think that might be, I'm not sure, his first relief appearance this year. And uh, B.J. needed a little bit of motivation. He's kind of fallen into a little bit of a lull lately. And bringing him in out of the bullpen, I think, is just what he needed to, uh, to attack hitters. And he really attacked them pretty well today. And you throw strikes, you win. And that's what B.J. does. Let's open up for any questions for the student athletes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely gives us confidence. It's fun to play in a park like that, but it's also it can it can go against you a little bit because you, you, in the back of your mind, you're kind of thinking, you know, you got an easier chance to hit a home run. It's a shorter port, so you kind of you might you know stray away from your mechanics and what you're good at. So you could get try and get big and try and hit a home run. And whenever you try and hit a home run, you know, it doesn't really go that you go your way. You end up making a dumb out. So it can work against you. It can work for you. And today, it just hasn't worked for us. Personally, I think, for me, not really coming into a ballpark like that because I'm not a big power guy, but I think it gives confidence for a lot of guys. So. And what was that like for you that, to see two of yours go out of the park that matched your season total up to this point? Oh, pretty different. I mean, it's not, not something I'm really used to, So, or my teammates, really. When I came to the dugout, it was a big question for everybody else. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty exciting moment. Yeah, I mean, his, he does throw a lot of strikes, and we knew um, he likes to pound the zone and try and get ahead with that fastball. So that was kind of our approach, um, get our swing off on the fastball, and that's usually the first pitch we're going to see. And he's not he, – he really commands his pitches, so um, we knew that first pitch is probably going to be a fastball somewhere for a, a strike, so we knew we had to get our swing off, and uh, it just worked out for us today. Dude, with all the talk this week, you know, just about the first tournament appearance in 21 years and stuff, what, it seems kind of weird when we get in these situations. We kind of play better. We get into a conference tournament, we usually play better. And it's our first uh, opportunity to play in something like this and come out on day one and do that. It's pretty cool. Jimmy, any two home run games in Little League, Legion Ball, anything? <laughs> I don't think ever. <laughs> no. BP? Maybe BP lately a little bit, but not, not very often. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, this was cool. It's pretty cool. Kyle, when you guys get down here, obviously not a long trip, but to look up in the stands and to see the support that you had down here, what, what did that you know, mean to you to see that five hours from Oregon Town, you, know, you guys are filling up stands? Yeah, it means the world. Uh, it really drives us, it propels us into you know, the type of performance that we showed. Um, just hearing the crowd roar, and you know, it's almost like we're back at home. And uh, being real close to the West Virginia border, we knew we'd get a good following, and uh, we did. And you know, Mountaineer Nation, you know, is so impressive, and they, you know, half the battle is, it was won with them. So we can't thank them enough for um, as well as they travel down here for us. I think this next 24 hours is going to be like for you guys before the next time we have to come back here. Um, you know, it, it'll be exciting. We're going to celebrate, but we can't. I mean, we didn't come here to win one game. We came here to win a regional. So. Um, we're going to wake up and we're going to, you know, we're going to start from square one. I think the ball game is zero to zero. It doesn't matter who we play. Um, either team is capable of winning. That's why they're here. So um, we'll feel good right now and we'll celebrate with each other. But you know, once we wake up, it's a new day and uh, it's time to get after it again. Any final questions for the student athletes? All right, let's open up the questions for Coach Macy.
Coach, just to piggyback on that question, first time in 21 years to come out and play so well, how do you yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it seems like every time we play now, we're going to either set or break records for ourselves, you know. So uh, every game we win is uh, we're getting a little bit closer to our goal. But uh, like KD said, we didn't come down here to win a game. It's nice to win the first one. But uh, I think we showed today that we're just not happy to be here. Uh, we came down here to win this thing and, and keep our season going. We've been on, that's been our mission the whole season. And Step one of the mission is complete, but uh, you can't complete it without steps two, three, four, and five. So, uh, like I said, we're going to feel good about this one for the next hour or so, uh, but figure out who we're going to play and, and figure out how we're going to attack the next game. You've already addressed your plan uh, for pitching for tomorrow. Do you have that? Do you know do we do not. You know, that was the difference in the game. We uh, we put them on base, gave them some free bases, and then turned some double plays, one in the first inning, one in the second inning. And and then they started playing great defense. Their middle of the infield was really, really good. They they kept them in the game. The shortstop made uh, ridiculous plays. Second baseman made a couple ridiculous plays. And But we just kept swinging, you know. Even though we were making hard outs, we didn't give up on it. But uh, we pitched a good game, played a great game on defense, and really swung the bats. And when you do those three things, you're usually going to win. So uh, we played uh, really good in all three phases. You know, he, his competitiveness, he does that a lot. You know, he, he, he'll give you a free base. But I think the team responds to his competitiveness. And even days where he only gets into the third or fourth or the fifth inning like he normally does, we usually win those games. You know, even though he doesn't, uh, pitch all that great. I think the team piggybacks on on how hard he's trying and how competitive he is. And that guy hates to lose worse than anybody in the dugout. And I think our team responds to that more so than him going out there striking everybody out. So, uh, you know, we needed to win the first game. So we put the guy on the mound that gave us the best chance. If it was that early, uh, you know, if Alec would have got us six innings, we could have flipped it to Sigmund and Zarb and those guys. But if it was going to happen early, it was going to be BJ because, you know, in the first game of a tournament, you don't need to use a lot of guys. You know, if you can get through it with one, that's great. Uh, if you get through it with two, that's that's the next best option. So we knew when BJ came in there, if he was throwing good, he could run the game for us, and that's what he did. You know, you can throw seeds and records and all that out the window right now because you get into the postseason, any team can beat any team. Uh, the guy on the mound is going to control the game for the most part. So whoever it is, we know it's going to be a good team. They're coming off of a win just like we are, so they're going to be very confident. And in a park like this, anybody can beat anybody. This park neutralizes a lot of things. Uh, you can hit a ball in the air that just happens to fall on the other side of the fence. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you're a power hitter or not. You know, you can you can hit home runs and keep your team in the game. So even when we're up 7-1 to one and 8-1, to one, you can't feel all that great about it because, you know, a couple walks, a hit, and two home runs, and, and the game's tied again. So uh, you just got to keep your foot on the gas the whole time. And regardless of who you play, you can't let that affect how you play. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hitters like to face a guy that, that throws a lot of strikes. You know, because he doesn't, uh, uh, he might not give you great pitches to hit, but he gives you good pitches to hit. And the difference was Manoa's not that guy. When you stand in the box today against Manoa, you got as good a chance to get a hit as you have to get hit. So, he, you know, he hit four guys today, and after he hit that fourth guy, that guy on deck does not want to stand in there. And that, that affects how you hit, you know. But when you're facing a guy like Schaefer, you know he's going to be all around the strike zone. That gives you the freedom to swing the bat early in the count. And that was our game plan going in there against them today. And you can have a game plan all you want going in against a pitcher, but it takes the players to execute it. And these guys are a perfect example of, of how it was executed to perfection today. Final question for Coach Maisie.
If, if Coach Walter and I were the ones out there throwing, hitting, and catching, I'd say yes. But uh, when the game starts, we just kind of stand there and watch the kids play. So it uh, doesn't matter to me who we play. Uh, I love Coach Walter to death. I've got a uh, huge background with them. Uh, so uh, I, I hope they win just because I like him. Not so much because I want to play them, but, but I want him to have all the success in the world. So. Uh, but from a uh, program standpoint, it doesn't matter who we play. We're not going to change how we approach the game because every team in here is very capable of beating you. All right, thank you. West Virginia will play 7 o'clock tomorrow night against the winner of tonight's Wake Forest UMBC game.